Hello guys, this is Panzerpress36, and today's video is going to be an inbox review of this set from Dragon. It's the Gen 2 gear. Off front winter combatants. I'm pretty sure it's a 1941 to 42 era, like early early wars on the western front, on the eastern front at least. Uh, basically, basically because of this guy's SVT rifle. They usually had the most in the camp, bulldog rifles later. And, uh, yep, so, you got four guys in here, these two are Russian, obviously those two are German. Not, I'm not exactly certain about the era, it says 1939-45, but, you know. Yeah, it's got Gen 2 gear, the figures aren't exactly molded in. The Gen 2 quality, like, you would see with, like, separate hands and stuff like that, but they're still really nice there. If anybody's got those, kind of, like, the more modern, not Gen 2 figure sets, you get the really good quality, not like any of the sets you get in like an orange box or anything like that from Cyber Hobby. The figures are really good and the guns are really nicely too. So, actually I'll show you first. The instructions are on the back of the set. You look in here. This is what you often see on figure sets. It's not really my favorite because it often gets a little bit confusing. You got all these bits and everything. Kind of gets a bit cluttery, but you know. It's pretty obvious, and the way they have it actually set up makes it pretty easy to understand. So, for, for example, here's the figure set. This is one figure. This is another figure. That's another figure. That's another figure. They got them in these sections, so you can pretty much build it without the instructions. So, I'll show you just some of the detail in here. Let's look at the uh, German guy with the flare gun. So, you see, we've got like a water pouch there. This is his, um, his overcoat that's got like these bits that kind of go on on the, on the pants. So basically you have these four corner bits for the coat and then they all just kind of sawed on. You can see like the little squares where they fit in on the legs there. It might seem a bit weird but it works. I've built figures like that before. Then we have the head here. I'm not sure where his helmet is. Helmet's probably somewhere along here. We got the head here. <coughs> I'll zoom you in to see the, de the, de the de detail there. Oh, no. It's not going to cooperate right now. There you go. Yeah, the camera is trying to take a picture of it. It thinks it's a face, so that's pretty good. <laughs> and then we have the body down here. You can see it's really nicely detailed. You got lots of folds on there, and the folds are very deep. And they're going to show up really well with a wash. You got the Russian guy over here. Um, you got the arms here. That's like his sling, which is a separate piece that goes in his hand. Interesting. So you got the head, the arm, and then here's the hand. If you look in the photo, he's got his PBSH here. Oh, right. He's got he's holding the sling in his hand, so that's a separate part, I believe. And you can see where this where the sling kind of ends. Right about there, right about where my finger is, right there. You can see it just kind of stops. So you have to, you know, like, attach it to that. I think it might work though, but it's an interesting way of doing it. He's got this uh, kind of like puffy uniform. You can see it's like a winter uniform. So we got lots of nice detail in there. Here's the other Russian guy right here. So his uh, uniform. We got like straps and stuff on there. It's all going to be nicely detailed. Uh, then there's his coat again, built the same way. Less folds, but I guess that's just the uniform. You can see the really nice detail in there. And then we got the helmet here. The end is attached on like the back at the very edge. Uh, where are we at? So you can see it's kind of attached there, so when you cut it off, it's kind of hidden. Sometimes on dragon sets, you end up with the attachment point right square on the top sticking out, and that's hard. So that's all the gear. Which I'll just show you some of the stuff. You got like the um, I've got a bag and stuff like that over here. You got the uh, stuff like that. That's like a collar for somebody. And this is the German guy's grenade. You have to put that on his uniform in a little slot. Look here. There's like a I see an indentation in his uniform there. The grenade goes in there. Then the MP40 pouch goes on top of that. It looks like it's in his belt. And it does work. 
So now over here we have some weapons. These are Russian weapons. They're on the sprue here because they don't make any Russian figures. That's not really. Dragon doesn't. So you got all the German guns that are on sprue, but these had to be on the kit sprue because they're not a standard sprue that they make. So I feel like here we got the PPS H71 or 41, whatever you want to call it. But they got the 71 round drum magazine right here. And here's the SVT 40 or 38, I'm not exactly certain. If you look, you can see there's really nice detail right by my finger there on the front. Lots of little holes and stuff like that, simulating porting on the barrel. Let's open up this set here, which is more gear. Oh, you know what I was just talking about? Saying the, uh, the helmets on the top of the catcher on the top? Yeah, here you go. Look right there, that's that's not gonna clean up very well. Get off. There we go. So here we got all the German gear. They're standardized sprues, so you got this extra sprue with them. And you're gonna have a whole bunch of extra stuff. You got all these bags here, you have uh, pouches here, holsters, you got like a Luger holster, a Walther holster, another Walther holster. Here you've got the guns. I'll zoom you in, sorry. You've got a Luger, not sorry, that's a Walther. You got a Luger there. The helmets, obviously, then you got some ammo pouches. Uh, these are for STGs, Storm Gewehrs, MP40s, Car 98s. They're all really good. You got the uh, gas mask on the top with a separate end bit where the sprue attaches. Sorry, I'm kind of losing where I'm going. <laughs> so these bits go on the top right there where the sprue attaches. And these are all really nicely molded. And a bit of flash on this holster here, which is a Walther holster. And so here are the weapons on the sprue. I'll show you up close. What you get is four car 98s, which you're not really supposed to use, though I suppose you could give one of the guys car 98 ammo pouches instead of his MP40. They're really nicely molded, as you can see there. Some Gen 2 sets actually have the bolt on the top there. This bit is a separate part that comes off, which is kind of pointless, I think, because you're not going to keep it separate for painting. I think there's a bit of flash on the top of the bolt there, as you can kind of see in this one. But not on the other ones. And then up top here we get three MP40s. As you can see, the ones on the end there, this one and the other one over there, they have the stock bolted on. You can see it just on the bottom. Right there. But this one, it doesn't have the stock because the stock is a separate piece. Where is it? Right there. On the, on the box art, it shows both of them with their stocks folded out, but I guess you can only do one. Um, and then at the top here we have the uh, the stock there, as well as four Car 98 rifle clips and two MP40 magazines. They're nicely detailed. Uh, you can just kind of have them sitting on the ground as empty magazines, or at least these ones you can. Or you can have a figure holding them and stuff, you know. They're just kind of things you can add on. And that's it. Uh, so basically overall, it's a really nice set of figures. I'd recommend this. You can probably get it for a pretty good price, given that's Gen 2 gear, not just Gen 2. Because the figures aren't as insane as sometimes you get from Gen 2 quality sets. But they're still really good. They're really high quality Dragon. Then you get the Gen 2 quality gear in the set. Uh, like the really good detail on the... Well, you can kind of see here all, all the pouches and stuff in the, in the guns they have. It's also one of the few Russian figure sets that they release because everybody likes German figures pointing. So I would really recommend this kit. Um, probably gonna build one of these figures. Don't know the era of them. Somebody could please tell me the era of them. I'm pretty sure the early ish war. But yeah. So basically, if you get any other of these more modern Dragon sets or Gen 2 sets, they're really good. Some of the older sets. But the kind you'll see also given for free in, a, in like a uh, Cyber Hobby orange box set. They're not really that high quality. 
they're okay. Like they're but they're probably worse than Tamiya figures. So Dragon figure sets are good if they're new. <laughs> but if Gen 2 gear, just get it. Or Gen 2, you got so much good stuff in there, it's really awesome. So thanks for watching my video guys. Hope you liked the review. Um yep. Yeah. Thanks for watching.